we will develop an algorithm that does subtraction by addition. An algorithm is a step-by-step -step procedure that produces a certain result. In this case, we want the difference of two numbers. In the, our base 10 numeration, there are 10 basic numbers. They are 0, 2, 9. We have these 10 numbers. And we can use one or more of these 10 numbers to write any other number. For example, if I want to write 15 minus 7, I would use 1, 5, and 7 one time each. In order to define what the nines complement of a number is, I have to find the pairs of numbers in the basic numbers that add up to 9. So if I add that 9 to that 0, I get a 9. If I add that 8 to that 1, I get a 9. If I add that 7 to the 2, I get a 9. If I add 6 to 3, I get a 9. I add 5 to 4, I get a 9. So there's five pairs of basic numbers that add up to 9. Each number in the, in the pair is the 9's complement of the other. The 9's complement of 9 is 0. 9's complement of 0 is 9. 9's complement of 8 is 1. 9's complement of 1 is 8. And the last one, 9's complement of 5 is 4. 9's complement of 4 is 5. The basic numbers, of course, have only whole numbers. So those are the five pairs. And we can refer to this. Or if we can do it mentally, that's fine, too. If we say, what number added to 7 gives you 9? If you can think of that mentally, yeah, you put 2. Or you may have to refer to the 9's complement table. In subtraction, the number being subtracted from, 15 in this case, is called the minuend. The number I am subtracting, 7 in this case, is called the subtrahend. The result we get from this operation called subtraction is called the difference. So 15 minus 7 is going to equal 8. 8 is the difference. Minuend minus subtrahend equals the difference. The first subtraction I will do by subtraction. I will add the numbers in the minuend, 1 plus 5, that's a 6, and write 6 minus 6 plus 15. 6 minus 6 is a 0, and when I add that to 15, I get 15. I will take the 9's complement of the subtrahend, 7 in this case, which is a 2, and write minus 7 minus 2 plus 2. Minus 2 plus 2 is a 0. And when I add that to minus 7, I get minus 7. So this difference, 15 minus 7, will remain the same. My next operation, from 15, I'm going to subtract minus 6, I get plus 9. I'm going to bring that 6 down. 6 plus 9 is 15. So this is another way of writing 15. From minus 7, I'm going to subtract minus 2. When I do that, I get minus 9. Then I'll bring this 2 down. Well, if I add plus 2 to minus 9, I get minus 7. So this is another way of writing minus 7. Why did I do that? Why did I add the numbers in the menu in to get a 6 and the 9's complement of the scepter hand to get a 2? Why did I use that for my zeros? Because I get this cancellation. 9 minus 9 is 0. So all I have to do to get my difference is add 6 plus 2. So that's equal to 8. So how many operations did I do when I did subtraction by subtraction? 
I did the subtraction here, one here, one here, that's three subtractions, and then I had to do one addition. So I did four operations to do subtraction by subtraction. Now we'll state our algorithm. The algorithm for subtraction by addition is, I will add the numbers in the menu n, 1 and 5, I get a 6. I will take the 9's complement of the subtrahend, which is 2, and add it to the 6. 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. So the algorithm for subtraction by addition, I did only one operation versus 4 for subtraction by subtraction. So on the basis of one subtraction problem, the algorithm appears to be accurate. 15 minus 7 is equal to 8. We get the correct difference. It appears to be easier because I only did one operation versus four. And it appears that we're not concerned at all with the menu n. I mean, all we're going to do is add one to a number. That is the easiest addition there is it hardly qualifies as an operation. We are mainly concerned with this subtrend. So we're going to find the nines complement and we're always going to ask the same question. What number added to the subtrend equals nine? In this case, two. We will always ask the same question using this algorithm. What number added to the subtrend equals 9. And when we find it, we can do subtraction by addition. Before we try our algorithm on several other subtraction problems, I want to define certain things. In every case, in every problem that we're going to do, the subtrahended number is greater than the corresponding minuend number. When that happens, in subtraction by subtraction, borrowing are required. In our algorithm, we're going to do subtraction by addition, and there will be none of that. 3 is greater than 0, 9 is greater than 7, 4 is greater than 1, 8 is greater than 6, and so on all the way down. 18 minus 9. 1 and 8 is 9, 9's complement of 9 is 0, 9 and 0 equals 9, 18 minus 9 equals 9, that is the correct difference. 10 minus 3, 1 and 0 is 1, 9's complement of 3 is 6, 1 and 6 is 7, 10 minus 3 equals 7. That is correct. 17 minus 9 1 and 7 is 8. 9's complement of 9 is 0. 8 plus 0 is 8. 17 minus 9 equals 8. That is correct. 11 minus 4. 1 and 1 is 2. 9's complement of 4 is 5. 2 and 5 is 7. 11 minus 4 equals 7. That is the correct difference. 16 minus 8, 1 and 6 is 7, 9's complement of 8 is 1, 16 minus 8 equals 8, 7 and 1 is 8. 12 minus 6, 1 and 2 is 3, 9's complement of 6 is 3, 3 and 3 is 6, 12 minus 6 equals 6, that is correct. 15 minus 8, 1 and 5 is 6, 9's complement of 8 is 1, 6 plus 1 equals 7, 15 minus 8 equals 7, that is correct. 13 minus 5, 1 and 3 is 4, 9's complement of 5 is 4, 4 and 4 is 8, 13 minus 5 is 8, that's correct. 14 minus 7, 1 and 4 is 5, 9's complement of 7 is 2, 
5 plus 2 equals 7. 14 minus 7 equals 7. That is the correct difference. So in every case, using our algorithm for subtraction by addition and the 9's complement procedure, we were able to find the correct difference. And we did it by addition. And we did only one operation. We found the 9's complement of the subtrahend. The menu n, all we do is add a 1 to a number. Okay. Is this algorithm valid for all numbers? No. The subtrahend digit or number must be between 0 and 9, one of the basic numbers. The minuend number must be between 10 and 19. If either one is out of range, then the 9's complement procedure will fail. So this is a special case, valid for certain range of numbers. So what good is it if it's only valid for certain numbers? A student in the first grade who is learning addition for the first time, when they reach the level of skill, when they can add two, two of the basic numbers that add up to nine, they can be taught to do subtraction by addition using this algorithm. They don't have to wait to the second grade or the third grade whenever subtraction is introduced. They can learn it almost simultaneously with learning of addition for the first time. Moreover, the algorithm will allow a student to verify the subtraction table. They don't have to memorize the facts in the subtraction table. They can do it by using this algorithm, they can verify the table, and they can also construct the table. Uh, in the next clip, we will construct a subtraction table because the range of numbers that we're dealing with here, this algorithm, corresponds to the numbers in the subtraction table. The basic number is the largest number is 9, 9 and 9 is 18, so the largest number in the subtraction table is 18. I would like to review why the special case algorithm is accurate. We have 10 subtract 3. I'm going to add the numbers in the menu in, 1 and 0, I get a 1. If I add 9 to that 1, I will get a 10. I will take the 9's complement of 3, which is 6, and if I add a minus 9 to that 6, I get a minus 3. So these numbers represent the difference between these two. If I add this 1 and this 6, I get a 7. That is the correct difference. Sum of the minuend digits, 1, 9's complement of the subtrahend, 6, add them, you get a 7. When you take the sum of the minuend digits, 1, you cast out this 9. When you take the 9's complement of 3, or of the subtrahend 3, you get a 6 you cast out this minus 9. So by adding these two, we get the correct difference. 13 minus 5. 1 and 3 is 4. 9's complement of 5 is 4. When I add these two, I get an 8. That is the correct difference. When I take the sum of the digits in the min menu in, 1 and 3, and get this 4, if I add a 9 to it, I will have 13. When I take the 9's complement of 5, which is 4, and I add minus 9 to it, I get minus 5. So what happens when I add the minuend digits 
and get this 4, I cast out this 9. When I take the 9's complement of 5, which is 4, I cast out this minus 9. By just adding these two, we get the correct difference. And it'll work for every, every subtraction on here. Add a 9 and a minus 9. Add a 9 and a minus 9. Incidentally, in a later clip, we will modify our special case algorithm so that it's valid for all numbers. Everybody is aware that this calculator does subtract for all numbers. There's no restriction. So we're going to do that too. Now in our next clip, we will construct a subtraction table to show that it really is quite easy to do using this algorithm.